I feel like so much has happened since I've last spoken to you guys, but also not really. But let's go all the way back to the end of February where I was just pretty busy with university, but I was mostly stressed about picking out and applying for masters. Meanwhile, I really tried to find peace in my own routines and I tried to really prioritize meeting with friends and I think I did well considering everything, but I must say I have lost quite a bit of my routines, but I'm trying to see that as a positive because it makes room for, you know, building new habits and trying new things. This is me going for a little walk between classes and getting my favorite chai and granola bar snack. Anyways, let's go to March. Guys, it's been so long. We really need to catch up. Maybe you can tell, but I'm in a different room. And that's because last week I moved. After moving back to my parents from Copenhagen, I was really unsure where I wanted to live and the housing market in Amsterdam is just super super rough so i was able to find something for one month and yeah luckily my parents were very helpful in moving me i must say it was a pretty big room and i did my very best to make it as homey and cozy as possible for the short period that i was staying there and the rest of the apartment was also pretty nice i shared it with two boys Moving gave me a lot of adrenaline in the beginning, so I went out for an early run that freaked up my knee for so long, so I quit after that. And the reason that I moved is because I finally made a decision on choosing my masters. And I ended up choosing a masters in Amsterdam anyways, which is European studies, which I'm so, so excited for, even though it breaks my heart that I cannot go to Copenhagen next year but I'll have to postpone going back to Copenhagen because also I'm going to get a surgery this year and it's just gonna be way too difficult to be in Copenhagen and then go back and forth for surgery and checkups and it's my jaw surgery and sorry guys, bombshell after bombshell but I'm going to get my braces in next month which absolutely sucks to get braces again at the ripe age of 21 because I've already had like years and years of braces before but it's for a good cause I know why I'm doing it I chose to do it myself so it's gonna be a new challenging chapter in the journey of self-love and um, but anyways this room is temporary but I felt like it was really just time to move out so i took a chance and moved out for a room for one month and hopefully by next month i'll find something new if not i'll always have the backup option of going back to my parents but it's not really what i'm going for so i'm gonna try really hard to find something and while we're at it if you're in amsterdam and if you know anything that i could apply for please let me know because finding a room in Amsterdam is so tough. I feel like you always have to know a friend or a friend of a friend to get something. We're gonna try our very best. Um, I'm probably gonna study all day, so let's pick out a comfy outfit. It's so funny to suddenly live on the opposite side of the city because I caught myself going the wrong direction so many times just because my inner compass is flipped upside down. I feel like it's healthy to go to the library to study for a change of scenery, but to be fair, usually I really, really dread it because I feel like it's so musty in there and it never makes me feel good, but I keep trying. On this particular day, I was really, really stressed out. I don't know what it was, but the anxiety really, really hit me that day. And so I went for a nice walk in one of the nicest neighborhoods of Amsterdam. And I knew my friend, who actually works at Slanau, was working that night. So I went to go and visit her and get some food. And, you know, that always makes me feel better. Friends, good food, fresh air, a walk. It's just a recipe for success. At the end of the day, if you try your best, 
that's good enough like the result doesn't even matter because if you try to try it and you cannot do more than that but sometimes it's so hard to still convince myself of that but we're learning every day also call me a creep but i love going out to eat alone and just overhearing other people's conversations and i also love cycling home at night there's something about it that just feels so magical and all of a sudden the days were getting longer and it was finally becoming spring As nature was changing around me, I feel like I needed a little bit of a change as well. I have to be honest, I felt a little bit insecure during this period, but I felt like moving my hair appointment a little bit earlier wouldn't hurt. During this time, I also really tried to take advantage of where I lived, very close to Amsterdam's Bos. And I don't know why, but every time I went for a walk there, I just cried happy tears. I don't know exactly why, but it's just something about nature that really touched me during this period. The big reveal. It's still pretty difficult to talk with them, so bear with me. I hope you guys will still want to listen to me ramble. But here we are, 15th of April. Okay, I cannot, I cannot wear these earrings because my whole earlobe is swollen. But I can wear these. So it's been like 10 days since I've gotten the braces in and but I've been living in this new place for two weeks and I honestly I love it so freaking much. I'm sad that it's only going to be for two months but just gonna enjoy it while it lasts. And yeah we're a little bit tilted but I, I cannot fix it right now. But to be fair March was a rough month but it's monday i actually went on a freaking run this morning a really short one but that's good because we don't want to get injured again and it felt so amazing and i made a really balanced nutritious meal for myself which has also been a challenge because i don't i don't feel like i have enough peace and time to really cook a lot but i just have to prioritize it again i think i really feel like i look 12 years old again with the braces and it doesn't help that i also dress like a 12 year old but maybe i'm just fully leaning into the, the 12 year old vibe so through all the hectic chaos from the last couple of weeks i'm actually very much behind on my my thesis so today we have to write like 1500 words but I hope you guys follow along and emotionally support me today. I really need it. I am so grateful and obsessed with my balcony right now because the weather has been pretty freaking great. Like it's like 50% really sunny days. I've been able to just lay out there and tan or tan and write at the same time. No, but I am gonna do a little room tour because I think my room turned out so cute. I bought the furniture from the previous girl. She wanted to sell it to me for 250 euros 
and i was just like mm, i have nothing to lose i just told her girly i'm broke can we do this for 50. it is way too low but i knew she didn't really want to take it out of the room because it's too much effort because this closet is like perfectly built for the space but she just she just agreed for 50 euros so i feel pretty smart Okay, now let's really get going with the day. By the way, one of my nails fell off this morning, so so I ripped them all off and they were so damaged that I had to cut them, but it's okay. Also, I got the clear braces on the top and my orthodontist was like, you should just get the metal ones on the bottom because nobody's gonna see them anyways. But when I talk, it's, the, it's only the bottom ones that you can see. And when I smile, but... So that's kind of a bummer. Literally, who cares? Who cares? Update. I don't know what to do anymore. It's not going very well. I just don't know what I keep doing wrong. There's this program that I need to use for collecting data and it just, it doesn't work. And I've tried everything. I'm even like talking to the developers of the program, but I cannot figure it out. I'm literally, I'm literally just a girl. I really hope what I just did is going to do something. Hmm. Also, it was really, really cold earlier. And now it's really hot, so. I'm about to cry because I feel like I'm wasting so much time trying to figure this out and I'm getting nowhere. <laughs> oh my God. Just a regular day in the Netherlands. We've had sun, rain, thunder, wind, hail. I am so happy I didn't go out today. Oh my God. I think I actually did it. I think I actually exported the data. It took me a whole work week, but Okay, I'm going for a quick grocery run and I'm really gonna get something for my infection situation on my ear. By the way, please don't be grossed out by my hand. It's literally a blister from play. I cannot talk. It's literally a blister from playing too much tennis. It's like it's almost 10 and I cannot focus on anything anymore. So let's do the freaking room tour. The neighbors are playing really loud music. I don't know if you can hear some bangers though. Okay, when you come in, here we have the air dehumidifier thingy that came with the room, but I just kept it, but I don't really use it. I don't know. My freaking um laundry and then this beauty of a lamp that i also had in my other room i love her so much then over here we have this that my dad actually built for me super nice so i can actually keep my towel in my own room and my coat in my bag and then we have my city little desk that we all know and love with this beautiful chair and this situation how do we improve this and best decision ever to put my rug by my balcony because the sun actually comes in and then when the sun comes in you can sit here comfortably and tan and this is where i put my mirror to have some good natural lighting come in and also to hide my balcony chair and my beautiful little planty from copenhagen i don't have space for a bedside table so i just have this thingy that i can pull out from under with like my diary and my glasses an assortment of nose spray and bedtime spray that i always forget to use but that's located underneath my bed of course and i love my bed i'm sleeping pretty well here actually and there's this closet that's 
built around it. As I said before, I bought it from the previous owner, but I'm actually really happy with this. If I need something, I just go like this. And now we have come to the best and the worst part of my room. So the fact that I have my own sink is obviously the very best part. Skincare is like the whole luxurious experience right now. I mean, is this not cozy? It's just the best thing ever. It's always clean. It's so much better than, you know, in the previous house where I had a bathroom. Oh. But then down here, I created a little situation for all my stuff. It's like cosmetics and hair stuff, but it looks so messy. I try to contain it, but it's a mess and it makes me really unhappy to look at. What is this? I just, it's not ideal, but it's a work in process. Okay, but I think that's it. By the way, I was looking back at some clips that I took earlier today and I, and I feel like I really sound a little bit depressed, but I promise you I'm not. It's just because, honestly, I think I talk differently, like I hold back a little bit more because my, my mouth hurts so much and I cannot really pronounce everything very well. Also, if you saw this laying on my bed, I know I talked about this book ages ago, but I'm still halfway. Yeah. Okay, I promise I'm gonna read tonight. Or look at Pinterest. And then also read. I almost forgot to tell you, this room used to have curtains. They were brown and they were like really long. And basically I hated them. So I did just like rip them out. So now I don't have curtains. The consequence is that I have no privacy. But in all honesty, I'd rather have somebody maybe you know, see some stuff that they shouldn't have than me having to look at those ugly mother freaking curtains every single day. But that's just me. Are you guys hearing this? The weather is crazy. It's really the little things in life, like being able to always wash your hands and not having to go outside of your room. Like before doing skincare, you don't have to like, Use your elbows to make your way back into your room. Life changing. So I'm gonna do a little experiment. In the summer, I used to slug my face a lot, but then, but then I got randomly really bad hormonal acne, and I feel like it's kind of going away now. So I want to see if it helps my skin now. With the hormonal acne, it was just like a little bit too too much. But let's see. It just it feels so greasy. Okay guys, I'm going to sleep. Thank you for bearing with me today. I actually really missed filming and if all goes well, I'll be back regularly again. See you guys very soon, I promise, because I have a really fun video coming up. Okay, good night guys. Mwah.